Today on Call for Two, a quick spoiler-free review of two premium experience escape room games, The Messenger and Witchery Spell. What's so special about these games? Stay tuned to find out. Some preliminaries first. I have no relationship with either of these companies. I buy all of the games that I play on this channel myself. This will be a spoiler free review, but I am going to show you what you would see just from opening up these boxes. If you're super paranoid about that kind of stuff, you can use the timestamps on YouTube to just jump to the end to my final conclusions. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And lastly, a shout out to the Puzzle People Facebook group, where I asked for some recommendations for Halloween games, and these two came up. So I said in the introduction that these are premium experience escape room games. What do I mean by that? Well, I play a lot of escape room style games on the channel. Those are games that have some narrative but are mainly about solving puzzles. And they do occasionally include some props. I'm putting these in a different class. These are more expensive, much more focused on giving you an atmospheric real experience with a little bit more focus on uh, showmanship and of pacing, of creating a memorable experience. They both have lots of narrative. They're both highly atmospheric. And both of these uh, here are spooky, creepy, sort of supernatural based. I played these in October over Halloween, and I think that's a good setting, a good context if you're interested in this kind of stuff. They're both on the expensive side, and they're both non replayable without there's there's contents that could get altered destroyed written on that kind of thing the messenger here the smaller one they weigh about the same this is packed more tightly this is eighty dollars shipped to the usa there's no reset kit you could reset it if you're careful Witchery Spell is about $60 shipped to the USA. Same thing, you might get away with resetting it yourself, but the company does sell a reset kit for $12. So if you think you want to pass it along, sell it, trade it, you might want to order it with the reset kit. That would bring the cost up to $72. Let's start with the messenger. So as I said, $80 shipped to the USA, no reset kit. I'm going to give you a look at what you get in the box. This is what you'd see when you first open it. A little brochure telling you what the contents are. And then we've got some folded documents and then some other contents. I want to show you how believably antique and aged these documents are. There's a variety of them, including some letters, a whole bunch of documents, some tarot cards. And I just wanna give you a feel for the quantity and quality of these things. These are the most believably aged antique documents that I've ever seen in a game. And then we've got some photographs, a cassette tape that if you have a cassette player, you could listen to. Otherwise, you can listen to it online, a little piece of jewelry. And the main item, which is this diary book, I'm just going to quickly give you some idea for the quantity and size of the pages and the feel and the amount of reading you have ahead of you. So there you have it. There's your quick peek at the messenger, what you get in the box. It's very densely packed in this small little container. 
it is a very deluxe experience here with some with that diary with the wood covers is one of the maybe top two or three props I've ever encountered in an escape room game. It is very well done. There's a lot of reading. It's highly engaging. Um, so it took us 21 hours to play through this on YouTube in five different sessions. If you decide you're not going to play this game, then you might want to watch that playthrough. If you do buy the game and play it, you might want to check out that video afterwards. And at the end of those five sessions, we have a much more in-depth, spoiler-filled review of the game, if you're interested in that. So the atmosphere here is really well done, which is the way I classify these games, sort of what you're looking for is the atmospheric experience, being immersed in this world. And this does a very good job at it. It is dark, it's creepy, and serious. As far as puzzles go, there are a lot of them. They are occasionally very good and occasionally very obscure and very difficult. There are some ciphers here and other things that require some outside knowledge that you'll have to go on the internet and research to solve. And I think this is one of the games that you may very well have you, it's the likelihood of getting stuck and not being able to solve a puzzle is quite high. And while most of these escape room games can be played solo, fine, I think this one you'd have a hard time doing solo. In fact, all of these experience atmosphere games lose a lot when you do them solo. This one, in addition to that, have puzzles that you're likely to get stuck on. We had an experienced group and we did need certain people who had some experience with certain ciphers and puzzles to help us. However, there is a very good hint system, so if you do get stuck, you can go to that. As I said, the story was great, very uh, creepy, very uh, pulled you into this world. There's a lot of reading here, lots of handwriting reading in this diary um, that will take you quite a bit of time to get through. Whether that appeals to you or doesn't, only you can say. One thing I almost forgot to say about The Messenger is there's quite a lot of multimedia involved here. Lots of videos and audio that are very well done, very creepy, think Blair Witch style stuff, and a few internet uh, components other than the multimedia. But the multimedia parts of this really do stand out as enjoyable and add to the experience. As a bottom line here with The Messenger, I would say that while there is an occasional misstep or missed opportunity, it is a rare, epic, hard, memorable, creepy, atmospheric, deluxe experience. That's a very rare thing to find, and that makes this a game to cherish and a really quite a unique experience if all of those criteria match what you're looking for. Next up is Witchery Spell, which comes in this big box here. It's mostly an empty box, however. As I said in the introduction, $60 shipped to the USA, plus you should add $12 for a reset kit. I think I would probably recommend that. This is a much shorter experience. We played through this live on YouTube in one session, took about five hours. If you watch that after you play it, there's a long spoiler-filled review at the end of that. So let's take a look at what you would see the first time you open the box. You get a little welcome letter. You get a little file folder with some documents I'm not going to show you. You get two packets with some physical items in it. Uh, just various little things, some tarot cards, a little secret thing here, another little small envelope, and then two things of scrolls just to give you some idea. 
of the contents here. These are not nearly as impressive in terms of being believable as in the messenger, but they serve their purpose well. And then the rest of the box is straw. Um, so there you have it without spoiling anything. That's what you'll see the moment you open the box. Um, I still say that this box, this experience is falls into the carry of this category of the sort of premium uh, escape room games. The props are of a much higher quality. There are a lot more of them and there are a lot more involved. There is a bit of internet use with this game, certain websites and certain features. It is very well done. Uh, there isn't as much multimedia as in the messenger, but it's all an enjoyable experience. Well done with a very good hint system online as well. I would say in general, the puzzles are of medium difficulty. They range a little bit, some easy, some a little bit harder. They are all quite satisfying and clever and very well done. Maybe a notch or so above the sort of level of polish of normal puzzle games like Deadbolt Mystery Society, etc. The narrative and atmosphere here is supernatural, again, like The Messenger, but it's definitely of a lighter style, uh, more fun, a little bit more tongue in cheek, uh, a little more humor than The Messenger. It's still got its little bit of dark elements and it's not a uh, satire, but definitely on the lighter side. So my bottom line here for Witchery Spell is this is a very tight, clean, polished experience. Very well paced, very sort of special. You know that when you finish it, you've played something special. Has a real showstopper of a finale that you'll remember and um, would make a great gift for someone and really is quite special in its own way. Okay, final thoughts. These are both very well made, polished, special, deluxe experience games that really do deliver memorable experiences. Relative to other escape room puzzle mystery games, I would say they're both actually bargains. Despite the high prices, the amount of content and the kinds of experience you get feel to me like they're priced very reasonably. Witchery Spell is easier to recommend to a broader range of people. That's because it's much more of a single night experience. The puzzles are easier. You're unlikely to get stuck terribly. And I think at the end, you're really, it goes out with a bang. The Messenger is a little bit harder to recommend because it's so much more of a hardcore experience. Uh, it's much longer, it's much harder. The possibility of you getting stuck is much higher. On the other hand, that makes it much more of a rare, special thing for groups to whom that appeals. And I am one of them, and I really, uh, I really cherish games that, of this type that are these epic games. They're so hard to find. I'd love to hear in the comments what you thought of these games, if you played either or both of them. If you played both of them, where you would rank them. I guess for me, it's hard to separate the two. Uh, this is the one I'm going to give it to, as a gift to my nieces. Probably this is the one that's closer to my heart. If you do buy and play the games, maybe check out our playthroughs afterwards, see how our group differed from your group and let me know in the channel. And if you have similar games you'd like to recommend, I'd like to hear about it. You can stop by the Board Game Geek Guild for this channel or our Discord, both links on the About page of YouTube. And I'll see you on the next video.